What's going on guys, Mr. Miller815 here and today I will be doing my follow-up review for the Blue Star Holsters outside the Waistband Kydex holster. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me and like and comment on this video so I can keep bringing you guys content. Again, this is that Blue Star outside the Waistband Kydex holster. Um, guys, I absolutely love this thing. This probably is my new favorite holster for my Glock 43 and I do have a bunch of them. Um, very few, very, very few critiques on there, which I'll go over here in a second, but I mean, this thing is outstanding and for the price point, you honestly definitely need to try it. So, uh, my only critiques with this one are that these screws are uh, basically all of them have come loose at one point or another throughout my testing period. Um, no big deal. They obviously tighten back down, but you'll need to at some point lock tight these just because, uh, you obviously don't want these coming loose. I know Loctite on a uh, you know on holster screws isn't the craziest thing, and you know probably won't be the last time I have to do that for a holster. But uh, just keep in mind that you you might have to Loctite these. I don't know if they're going to be every holster that comes you know from Blue Star or if it's just this specific one. I you know whatever the case is. I, either way, I plan on wearing it a whole bunch. I absolutely love this thing. So uh, let's jump into my five point necessities that I believe that every holster should have, starting with trigger guard. Uh, but as always, there is no round in the chamber. There is no magazine. This is a clear and safe firearm. So we will start with the trigger guard. As you see, it is covered completely here. You got a little bit of the back of the trigger here, but that's not anything that'll be able to be pulled. Uh, and then this side is completely covered up. There isn't a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of material to this thing. And that's kind of the reason why I love it is how minimal it is. Um, but there's not a lot of material to get in the way of your of, of your draw and your grip. So that's outstanding. So as far as the trigger guard goes, this absolutely passes, guys. This is probably one of the stiffest Kydex holsters I've ever had, and it's, you know, I think it's made great. Um, as far as retention goes, you guys probably already heard it, but I'll play with it again for you. Uh, it does have that retention click that we know I, we all know I love so much, so take a listen. Nice and loud, and that is in there. This thing is outstanding. Um, I never really did mess with it outside of just retightening down these screws. I just I think the base retention is pretty damn good on here. So uh, retention on this is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely, definitely passes the retention test. Um, so let me slip this on, guys, and then I will go over the rest of the review for you: concealability, comfort, value, all that other good stuff. Just stick with me. Okay, let's talk concealability. As always, I carry it about 4 o'clock, 4.30. Um, there is not much to this holster. It's so slim. It's so minimal. This thing hardly ever prints. I have no doubt you'll have no issues whatsoever in the wintertime. Summertime, you can wear this with a lighter shirt, a smaller pullover, flannel, button-down, whatever the case is. Um, no concealability issues. The thing is so tiny. Granted, yes, again, that's a Glock 43 that's being concealed, but... I, you know, I absolutely love it. I've been looking for uh, a good holster for my 43 for a long time. It's getting warmer out. I wanted to wear my subcompacts more often, and uh, this this holster is outstanding for that. So concealability definitely absolutely passes. As far as comfort goes, guys, it's outside the waistband. I mean, enough is said about that. It's obviously as comfortable as it gets. Um, sitting, standing, walking around, driving, whatever the case is, this thing is very comfortable. Half the time you forget it's there. And the fact that it's just those two clips, there's no belt loop holes or loops or anything like that, uh, you know, that makes a huge difference. It's it's on and off with, you know, real quick. You don't have to take your belt off to, you know, remove the holster, and I absolutely love that. So uh, for comfort, absolutely, definitely passes. As far as value guy, uh, value goes, guys, this is only $32.95 for this holster. That's outstanding for an outside the waistband holster, especially one this good. Usually when they're that cheap, the quality tends to dip. Um, I absolutely love this. Definitely passes value, guys. Check out Blue Star Holsters. They have a good, good selection of firearms there. Um, you can pick a, different, a bunch of different colors for your holster as well. Um, and it's American made. So definitely check them out, guys. But, uh, you know, again, my only critique would be is that the, the screws get a little loose here and there, which happened a couple of times. Um, so you'll definitely have to lock tight them. I haven't done so yet, but I definitely will because I plan on using this holster a whole lot more. Um, but guys, I love this holster. This probably is my favorite holster for my Glock 43 currently, and I have a whole bunch, as you may be aware. So, um, you know, 
Definitely, just like I said, give them a shot, guys. You, you won't be you won't be uh, disappointed. And for thirty two ninety five, that's that's not bad at all. I've I've wasted more money on a lot worse things. So ring that notification bell, though, guys. And you know, stay tuned with everything I'm doing. I'll be doing the other inside the waistband holster for the Blue Star here tomorrow, and then on your six that uh, that uh, craft holster for my Glock twenty one. It'll be dropping on you know four and Friday. So stay tuned for that, guys. But until then, as always, stay vigilant.